Hey precious people, we're just gonna help this burning blood lover feed out. Hey, come on. Come on. Found it on the road. There you go. You okay? There you go. You okay? I wasn't moving on the road, so I just thought I'd move it. Seems like so right now. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Did it fly? Okay. It's alright, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, are you okay, are you, are you injured, are you okay, it's alright, it's okay. Hey guys, we're going to bring her to the vet. Hey guys, so I picked up this the rainbow lorikeet off the road, it didn't want to move, oh I actually almost hit it. So I turned around and grabbed it, put it back on the grass, but it seemed like she couldn't fly. So we're gonna take it to the vet and we'll see how we go. Okay guys, the rainbow lorikeet is in the car. It appears that it can fly. So I'm just gonna try and get it out of the car now. Hey girl, come on. Come on, girl, or oh boy. Let's go. Let's go. You're all right. Oh, you are bleeding. You're injured. Okay. Uh, so it appears that it is bleeding. So I'm still going to take it to the vet. Hey guys, so we're on the way to the vet now. This little birdie's in the I only just put it in a, um, a plastic bag. Uh, I didn't have any boxes or anything, so the bird's safe there. I just noticed that it had some blood around the mouth, so taking taking it to the vet, and hopefully they can see what's wrong or see how it goes. Alrighty, see you guys. Hey guys, so we're at the vet. So guys, um, I've tried knocking at the vet. I'm gonna give it another go, and before I leave, I'm gonna just gonna leave the, the bird here and give him a call later. They open at 8:30 apparently. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, someone just drove up. I've just left the bird here. Yeah? I'm gonna ask this person. So guys, I've just left it this side of the vet. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna move around anywhere, so I'm just gonna give the vet a call when they open and let them know that it should be around the side there. Um, there was a bit of blood around the beak and there's blood in the plastic bag as well, so I took it out of the plastic bag, so it could, um, this wasn't just the best thing to do, to leave it in the plastic bag, especially it's going to get hot today. Um, so I'm going to give the vet a call later on and then see how, um, how it works out. See you guys. Okay guys, some, some other people just pulled up into the vet. I'm going to go see if I can talk to them and let them know. Thanks. Okay guys, I uh, just spoke to one of the vets that came in. Luckily they were here, they came in early. Now uh, we tried to get it um, and put it in, into a pad, although it, it, it looked like it, it looked like it fly, so and then it was jumping around and it flew. 
So it's on the tree now. Uh, the vet noticed the blood on the beak. She said that it looked like it would have been hit, probably most likely by a car, and was a little startled and didn't want to move. So the vet's going to keep an eye on it on the tree. So yeah, but it, it seems like it didn't do that much damage. She said so. Um, fingers crossed. Little little dude's going to be okay. And uh, yeah, cool. See you, precious people. Bye.